It's an odd feeling, but this time the confetti rained for the other guys after 29 straight wins. That's both a conference and program record. Georgia fell to Alabama in the SEC championship 27 24. The Bulldogs are now 0 and 4 against the Crimson Tide when battling for the SEC title. Georgia actually outgained Alabama in total yards 321 to 306. It played through injuries. Tackle Marius Mims got hurt. Wide receiver Lad McConkey and tight end Brock Bowers pushed through despite being banged up. But in Georgia coach Kirby Smart's eyes, this one largely came down to the trenches. One thing I can say is they whipped us up front. I mean, even late there in that two-minute drive, we had a third and one, and they, they, they whipped us, and we had to get it on fourth and one on the goal line. You know, they have big, big humans. And people always say, well, Georgia can run the ball. Georgia can run the ball. It's hard to run the ball when they have good size in there and they're in very physical front. But I was very pleased with the run game, not the conversions. That, that probably was the difference in the game with the short yardage conversions and gifting 10 points away. Despite the loss, Smart advocated that the Bulldogs should get a college football playoff spot, saying they're still one of the four best teams in the country. We'll find out Sunday afternoon if the playoff committee agrees. If you're going to tell me somebody sitting in that uh, committee room and doesn't think that that Georgia team is not one of the best four teams, I don't know if they're in the right uh, profession because it, it, it's, it's, it's a really good football team. It's a really talented football team. It's a really balanced football team. Um, so, you know, they have to make that decision. But it's the best four teams, and uh, that's critical. Um, yeah, I mean, to go through a you know SEC schedule, 12 games, and – you know, to win each and every one, um, it's, it's not something easy to do. And uh, kind of leave the, uh, the destiny of our team in someone else's hands rather than us uh, handling it ourselves. You know, that's, that's hard, but, you know, at this point it's, it's out of our control. But, you know, we fought hard, and I thought throughout the season, you know, we showed that, you know, we were a really dominant team.